Suppose we have only two risky stocks, stocks of company A and stocks of company B. Company A has 10 outstanding shares and company B has 20 shares outstanding. The price per share of company A is $4 and the price per share of company B is $2. The expected rate of return on company A stock is 20% and that on company B stock is 30%. The volatility of company A stock is 15% and the volatility of company B stock is 25% and the correlation between A and B is negative 0.5. Question is, what is the expected return and volatility of the market portfolio? And we have to use the beta of stock B to calculate the risk-free return rate. The only assumption we're making is that capital asset pricing model holds. To start with, let's find out what the total market capitalization is. Since we have only two stocks, A and B, the market capitalization will just be the market capitalization of A plus market capitalization of B. So the market capitalization of A is the price per share of company A times the number of shares outstanding plus the market capitalization of company B, which is the price per share of company B times the number of shares outstanding, and this equals 80. So $80 is the total market capitalization. Let's calculate the weights of stocks A and B based on this market capitalization. So if we have to compute the weight based on market capitalization, then the weight of A equals the price per share of company A times the total number of outstanding shares, which is 10, divided by total market capitalization, which is 80. So company A essentially is 50% of total market capitalization. And since A and B are the only two stocks in this world, then by default, the other 50% of market capitalization belongs to company B. Okay, let's calculate the expected return on market portfolio. Remember market portfolio is that portfolio on the efficient frontier that has the highest sharp ratio and only comprises of risky assets. Let RM represent the expected return on market portfolio. So RM equals the expected return on stock of company A times the weight of company A based on its market capitalization plus the required return on stock of company B times the weight of company B based on its market capitalization. And we know what the expected return on the stocks of both company A and B are. Let's plug in the values. The expected return on stock of company A is 20% times the weight of company A plus the expected return on stock of company B, which is 30% times the weight of stock B. And this equals 0.25 or 25%. So the expected return on market portfolio is 25%. Let's calculate the variance of market portfolio. The variance of market portfolio equals the weight of company A square times the variance of A plus the weight of company B square times the variance of B plus two times the weights of A and B times the volatilities of A and B, times the correlation between A and B. And this equals the weight of company A square times the variance of company A plus the weight of company B square times the variance of company B plus two times the weights of A and B times the volatilities of A and B times the correlation between A and B. And this equals 0 0.011875. Taking the square root of this, we get the volatility of the market portfolio to equal 0 0.109 or 
10.9%. So we have calculated the expected return on market portfolio, which equals 25%. And we've calculated the volatility of market portfolio, which equals 10.9%. Now we have to use the beta of stock B to calculate the risk-free return rate. From the definition of beta, the beta of stock B equals the covariance between returns of stock B and return on market portfolio divided by the variance of the market portfolio. So let's first calculate the covariance between returns of stock B and market portfolio. And this equals the covariance of return of stock B and we know that return on market portfolio just equals the weight of stock A times the return on stock A plus the weight on stock B times the return on stock B. And this in turn equals weight of stock A times the covariance between the return on B and return on A plus the weight of B times the covariance between return on B and return on B. So we know that the weight of stock A is 0.5, and the covariance between the returns on B and A is just the volatility of B times the volatility of A times the correlation between A and B. Plus, we also know that the weight of stock B is 0.5, and the covariance of RB with RB is just the variance of RB. That's equal to 0.25 squared. So therefore, the covariance between return on B and return on market portfolio is equal to 0 0.021875. The beta of stock B is just equal to the covariance between RB and RM, and we've just calculated it to be 0 0.021875, divided by the variance of market portfolio. And this equals 1.84. So the beta of stock B is 1.84. Now question is, how do we calculate the risk-free return rate? We know that capital asset pricing model holds. So the expected return on stock B is just going to be equal to the risk-free rate plus the beta of stock B times the expected return on market portfolio minus the risk-free rate. So we know that return on stock B is 30%. We have to calculate the risk-free rate. But we know that the beta of stock B is 1 spot 84. And we also know that the return on market portfolio is 25%. So solving for RF in this equation, we get RF to equal 0 0.1911 or 19.11%. So everything followed pretty logically in this question. We first calculated the expected return on market portfolio and then the volatility of market portfolio. And we ended up using the covariance between return on B and return on market portfolio to compute the beta of stock B, which in turn was plugged into capital asset pricing model to back out the risk-free return rate. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.